And then, and then what happened? And then, uh, well, and, and then he, uh, well, he grabbed a stick and he tried to knock the star out of the sky, but the stick couldn't knock the star out of the sky because the stars, you know, are really, really far away. Why? Because uh, the universe is a really, really big place. Okay, you ready to go to, go to bed, sweetheart? No. Okay. Okay. Um, for you to want me to get your mom, she's so much better at telling you these stories. I don't like me. mom's stories, they're too detailed. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, he, uh, he tried to knock the star out of the sky with a stick, and he couldn't do it because the stick is only, even in the best case scenario, about yay long. If it goes longer than that, it's not really a stick anymore. It becomes a staff. And a monkey can't carry a staff because a monkey is very small proportionally. So even the longest stick that he had could only be about so long. That would be even longer. You falling asleep? No. Okay. <laughs> so he got a real long stick, the longest he could find, short of being a staff, and um, tried to hit the star out of the sky. But the star wouldn't fall down out of the sky because stars are very far away. And that's why it's important to reach for the stars because they're far away. Um, and they give you something to uh, challenge yourself about, I guess, would be a lesson you could draw from this story. Um, a moral. Are you asleep, sweetheart? No. Okay. And, um, and then what happened? And then what happened indeed? Um, what? Hmm? What? What? What did you say? It wasn't relevant to the story. Um, uh, and then more stars started coming out. Uh, Did Monkey hit them with the stick? Well, Monkey realized that uh, the one star wasn't being hit with a stick, so he, he thought about it. And um, he put the stick down, and he climbed up to the very top of the tree, and um, he put his hands together, and he tried to scoop all the stars out of the sky. You know, like, um, like when you scoop bubbles out of the bubble bath, he tried to scoop them out of the sky. But um, the stars are very far away. Nightmares are uh, sometimes scary things come out of our imaginations. And it feels like they're in the real world with us. But they're not. It's just the way our minds are processing all of our fears. In a way, nightmares are really good because it gives you something to look at. So your fears aren't inchoate. Your fears have a uh, form you can think about. Them. I don't know what the word inchoate means. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. When your mother and I um, decided that we wanted to have you, I really thought that um, I would be kind of a later in life kind of parent. Meaning, I thought your mom would do most of this stuff 
And then later on, I would take over. You know, like when you were in school and stuff. Oh, okay. It's just, I'm not, I get very self-conscious about being a good dad. And I get very self-conscious that my stories are kind of garbage stories. And um, I, like I overthink them. it. What? I like them. You do? Yeah, I like Monkey. That's your takeaway from the story? Yeah. Okay. All right, I can work with that. Just overthinking it, that's all. I'm just trying too hard to push a message. It's a tough thing about being a dad. You look for opportunities to moralize at all, at all, at all costs. I had a costs. nightmare about the potty. What? I had a nightmare about the potty. Oh, that's okay. Everybody has nightmares about the potty. <laughs> I have nightmares about the potty. Usually in my nightmares, the potty is in inconvenient places. Like in the middle of a room or on the top of a stairwell. Or sometimes the potty is in a basement that's filled with water. And I really have to go, and there's a party going on upstairs. I have that nightmare a lot. Does that make you feel better? Yeah. All right. And then what happens? In my nightmare? Well, usually I, um, I go because I have to. And I feel weird about it. Who's at the party? Well, all kinds of different people. Is it a birthday party? Uh, it's an ill-defined party. Usually, you know, work acquaintances and old family members from when I was growing up. A school bully shows up in my, my dreams often. What was your potty nightmare? The potty, the potty talks. Oh, yeah. What did like it? Like with the lid. Yeah. Scary. That just means you're growing up. Nightmares happen when we grow up and we go from one phase to another phase. Sometimes our dreams tell us that it's time to kind of let go of an old phase and we're going into a new scary phase. But on the other side of a scary phase is all kinds of new possibilities for our life, you know? Does that make sense? No. All right. See, this is why I thought I'd be like a high school dad or a college dad. I don't want you to be college dad. I don't go to college. I'm, I'm gonna go though. You are, and then we're gonna have some great bonding time. Okay. But also, you can, also now. Right. All right. Well, um. What, okay, if, so what if Monkey was at the party? Okay, Monkey's at the party. Okay. And Monkey has to use the potty. And the potty starts talking to Monkey. And at first, Monkey's really afraid. And he tries to stab at the potty with a big stick. Like Not a, big enough like to a be a stab. staff. Not too big, but okay. a big, long stick, because he doesn't want to get close to it. But then he realizes that the potty is just trying to make a connection with him. Does that make sense? It does? Mm-hmm.